Welcome back, this is Dr. Jin Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results. Today we're going to talk about pain and the weather. Does weather impact pain syndromes, or is it just an old wives' tale? So let's get into some of the facts. In order to understand this, we have to understand what barometric pressure is. Barometric pressure is basically pressure within the Earth's atmosphere, right? Depending on where you are, either at sea level or higher elevation, the pressure will be different. Same thing with weather. When you have good weather, the pressure is higher. Obviously, at sea level, the pressure is going to be higher than at, uh, on a mountain. Bad weather has low pressure. At higher altitudes, you will also have low pressure, right? So let's take the example of osteoarthritis, or let's say arthritis in the knee, okay? Basically, when you have arthritis, you have damage to the cartilage, the bone, and you're developing some scar tissue around that joint, all right? When you have that, you start to expose nerve endings, okay? And when you have pressure changes or very low pressure, you create expansion of the joint, impacting the cartilage, the ligaments, and the tendons around that joint, okay? That expansion will, ex will irritate these nerve endings and it'll create more pain. Now, also cold, cold weather will increase stiffness and pain because it will decrease the viscosity of the fluid in the joint or synovial fluid, okay? It will decrease um, basically the viscousness or the thickness of the lubricant and when you start to move the knee it will start to loosen up a little bit okay also with bad weather you're gonna have decreased activity what that means is that if you don't move the joint it won't lubricate it so people don't realize the cartilage itself does not have a vascular supply to it the way it gets nutrients is through movement so when you move your knee joint right that's how the nutrients will get into the cartilaginous areas okay so barometric pressure or weather can also impact chronic pain syndromes like fibromyalgia it can also impact headaches like migraines depression and pain syndromes okay what can we do to help with these types of patients one you have to move right just because the knee is painful, if you just sit there, it can become worse. So what you want to do is maybe just start with knee flexion extension of the knee, right? And then maybe riding a bicycle so there's less pressure on the knee. And then increasing walking activities and so forth. After exercise, what can we do, right? We can take some of these supplements like fish oil. Fish oil will decrease anti-inflammatory prostaglandins, right? It will decrease eicosanoids. Turmeric and resveratrol will decrease NF-kappa B. Quercetin will decrease leukotrienes. NAC or N-acetylcysteine will decrease free radical or oxidation, right? I've actually made a video on each one of these, so you can go ahead and watch it. And I'll link it uh, in the description below so you can watch those videos. I give specific recommendations about dosage and so forth. But these are anti-inflammatory and antioxidants that will help the acute uh, inflammatory phases of um, joint pain. Okay? Once you can accomplish that, you want to be able to change your diet. You have to decrease uh, sugar or refined sugar. You have to decrease partially hydrogenated fats and oils shellfish and processed foods, even red meats. You want to increase water intake, fatty fish, high antioxidant fruits, uh, fruits and veggies, right? You want to be able to increase uh, these antioxidants because it will take the oxidative blow of this inflammatory processes, right? You also want to improve the inflammatory cascade. Another thing you can do is cryotherapy or ice baths, let's say because it will increase endorphins and growth factor, right? Endorphins will help block pain, decreases inflammatory cytokines, it will increase circulation, 
it will increase endothelial nitric oxide. What that means is it will vasodilate or open up your arteries, right? So better circulation to the joint will occur, right? And then with movement, you can um, bathe the synovial uh, fluids and, and the cartilage in there. Now, there are a lot of supplements that help uh, with joint pain, right? There are combination packs, things like MSM, um, hyaluronic acid, uh, glucosamine sulfate. So there are a lot of different uh, types of nutrient combinations that you can use to help joint or support the joint. But if you're in acute pain, you want to bas basically do this type of uh, nutritional protocol with the dietary changes. And then include movement because movement will help um, get the nutrients to where it needs to get to. All right. So my name is Dr. Jin Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results. And we'll see you guys next week on the healthy side. Have an awesome day.